everyone, Teacher Chana here and welcome back to Chana's Classroom. We have a lot of what ifs. What if I do this? What if you did that? What if she had done that? Or what if they had done this? Then something will happen, might happen, or would have happened. It's something like a theory of change. What if and then? We used to speculate and make conditional sentences whether it is a real condition or an imaginary situation. In English, we usually use the word if to make conditional sentences. However, there are other subordinating conjunctions that we can use such as unless, provided that, as long as, and when. Unless is the negative version of if. When and if often mean the same in zero conditional and as long as and provided that impose a condition on someone telling what you expect them to do. In today's lesson, I am going to discuss the conditionals and how to make conditional sentences. A conditional sentence expresses a condition and the consequence of that condition. The condition is called the if clause and the consequence is called the result clause. The result clause can be expressed either before or after the if clause. For example, you will understand if you listen carefully or if you listen carefully, you will understand. Please take note that if the if clause comes first, a comma is used, while if the result clause comes first, no comma is used. There are five types of conditionals. To understand this better or to expand your knowledge about this lesson, please join me as I discuss this one by one. Let's go. The first type of conditional is the zero conditional. The zero conditional is used to express when things are always or generally true. For example, if you mix red and yellow, you get orange. It is also used to express scientific facts. For example, if the water boils, it evaporates. So what is the format of zero conditional? So as I have mentioned earlier, there are two clauses in conditional sentences. So the if clause and the result clause. So we use present tense in the if clause and another present tense in the result clause. For example, if you are kind, good things happen. So are and happen are both in the present form. Another example is, if she gets tired, she goes to bed early. Gets and goes are both in the present tense. And another one is, unless you change, things are always the same. So change and are are both in the present form. So that is the zero conditional. The second type of conditional is the first conditional. The first conditional is used to express future condition which we think is possible or likely to happen. Please take note of the keywords there. It is possible, it is likely to happen. So what is the format of the first conditional? So we use the present tense in the if clause and the future tense in the result clause. For example, if you don't tell me, I will just keep asking. Or, if you behave well, you will have an ice cream. Another one is, you won't play video games unless you do your schoolwork. Please remember that when we express the result clause before the if clause, we no longer need a comma. So that is the first conditional. The third type of conditional is the second conditional. 
We are using this conditional when we are expressing a hypothetical condition and its probable cause. Meaning, we are talking about unlikely or unreal condition. So that's the difference between the first and second conditional. If in the first conditional, things are possible or likely to happen, in the second conditional, it is unlikely or impossible to happen. So the format is, we use the past tense in the if clause, while we use would, might, or could, plus infinitive in the result clause. For example, if I were you, I would start selling online. Or, if she was as rich as Bill Gates, she wouldn't work. Or, another one is, if he had a lot of money, he might give me a house and lot. Please take note that we don't use the past tense to indicate the past time. It is used to indicate that the condition is impossible or unlikely to happen. So that is the second conditional. The fourth type of conditional is the third conditional. The third conditional is used to express something in the past that did not happen. So the result is imaginary. The third conditional is also used to express regrets or complaints. So the format is past perfect in the if clause and would plus have plus past participle in the result clause. For example, if I hadn't eaten a lot of rice, I would have been fitter. Or if she had finished her studies, she might have been successful now. Another one is if they had supported him, he would not have done that. Apart from would, we can also use might and could in the result clause. For example, if the situation had been better, we might have gone to Disneyland. Or if she had performed well in the Q&A portion, she could have won the title. So that is the third conditional. If we want to use a conditional sentence to talk about the past and the present, we can use the second conditional in one part and the third conditional in the other. So that is called the mixed conditionals. For example, if the plane tickets were cheap, they would have spent their holidays in the Philippines. So the if clause is the if clause for the second conditional and the result clause is the result clause of the third conditional. So this sentence means that the tickets are expensive and that is why they didn't spend their holidays in the Philippines. That is the mixed conditionals. Now let us review the five types of conditional. So the zero conditional is used to express when something is generally true or based on scientific facts. The first conditional is used to express when something is likely to happen. The second conditional is used to express when something is unlikely to happen. The third conditional is used when something in the past did not happen, so the result is imaginary. And for the mixed conditional, when you want to talk about the past in the present using the conditional sentence, we use this type of conditional. So for example, if you study harder, you pass the exam. For the first conditional, if you study harder, you will pass the exam. Second conditional, if you studied harder, you would pass the exam. And the third conditional, if you had studied harder, you would have passed the exam. And for the mixed conditional, if you studied harder, you would have passed the exam. We just have to remember the format. If you're going to ask me if you have to memorize, my answer is yes. So another examples are, 
If you freeze water, it turns into ice. If you believe you will achieve, that is first conditional. If you change, things would happen. What is that? That is the second conditional. And for the third conditional, if you had started doing rather than just talking, you might have gone far. And for the mixed conditional, if you had listened to your parents' advice, your life wouldn't be a mess. That's all for now, my dear students, the five types of conditionals. Always remember, it doesn't matter how slowly you go as long as you don't stop. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and see you again next time.